Welcome to a video. Well, that is not so good as you can see. Well, I have pretty much blown my engine in the most stupid way possible. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, the story of that. As you can hear, my engine is running on three cylinders. So the 4AG E20 valve I have in my Toyota Carina. So this happened when I was driving home and uh, yeah, it was a rainy day and uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. I did some pulls and such and uh, for some reason suddenly the engine ran on three cylinders, then it ran on four again and then it ran again on three and made some weird noises. So yeah, I got the car towed and now I'm gonna pull out everything. So uh, yeah, have fun with that and we'll see you when we found the damage. Already when putting out the spark plugs, we noticed that one spark plug is actually pushed down all the way so that the electrode is contacting the uh, finger, which is not supposed to happen. So that's already a sign of there was something wrong here. Then we decided to pull off the valve cover as well. And um, yeah, we saw this. So the cam bucket or the lifter wasn't making contact at all with the cam or rather was having a much larger distance to it. <laughs> so uh, as you can see on the right side, the right lifter is much closer to the cam. And when we turn over the engine, well, you can see the problem. Here again in a close up. So we decided to pull out the cam and see what's going on.
Well, as you can see here, again, another shot with the lifters. This is how it's looking right now. On the further right, you can see the ones um, how it should look. So that is a problem. And when we pulled out the lifter, we found this. This is a broken valve retainer. But this doesn't just break for some reason. Well, we looked in the combustion chamber and there was a stainless steel insert or a steel insert from the airbox because I was stupid and I apparently pulled it out when I installed it. And now the valves are bent. So as you can see, when pushing air into the cylinder, the valves are leaking great so we basically have a broken engine of course i'm gonna rebuild it but still sucks also on the piston we have some damage it's not too bad compared to the other cylinders but uh yeah still gonna have to take a grinder to it and smooth that out so that it runs again so we are going to have a new series on how to build rebuild an engine on a budget have fun with that, I guess.